This is Craig Migliaccio from AEC Service Tech, and today we're at Autobahn Plumbing Supply Company in Cape May County, New Jersey, and we're going over the most misordered airflow products for HVAC systems from trunk duct to boots, grills, and registers. So here we have all of our misordered items, and we're going to start over here with our supply boots. And so this is a straight boot. And so this is a four by 12 by seven inch straight boot. And here we have a four by 12 by six inch end boot. And so this is called, considered either an end boot or pencil boot. And so you gotta remember that your last dimension is where it's gonna be connecting from here to your trunk duct, but you're always starting with your smallest dimension first. So here we have our four by 12 by seven inch 90 boot. And so straight boot, pencil or end boot, and that's a 90 boot. But the whole theme of this is that you're starting off with your smaller dimension first because it's penetrating through the floor. Anytime you penetrate through the floor, even with a supply register, this is considered a four by 12 supply register. And you are calling it a register because there is moving dampers on it. And so the outside dimension right here is going to be bigger than 12 and bigger than four. It's actually talking about the section that fits in the floor inside this boot. And so seeing here, this is just a white version of this brown floor register. And once again, it's a four by 12. And over here, this gets misordered a lot. And you got to think that this is a heavy gauge return air grill. It's a grill because there's no louvers that move. It just has fixed louvers. And so since this goes through the floor, you're, you're saying your short dimension first, so it's eight by 24. And so these louvers follow the, the long length of 24. So a lot of times these get ordered, misordered wrong and the, lo the louvers are pointed this direction. Now we're gonna move this way right here. Here we have a baseboard register. And in this case, since it's facing the wall and the screw holes are going towards the wall, you're gonna use your long dimension first, which is 12 by six. And that's even though we are penetrating through the floor, this looks like a wall register and so it follows that long dimension first. So over here, this is a wall register and so it's the long dimension first, 12 inch by four inch. And since it has the, the movable louvers right here, that's a supply register. And here we have our oval stack heads. And since these penetrate through the wall, we use our long dimension first, which is 12 by four by seven inch oval stack head. In this case right here, it's a 12 by six by seven inch oval stack head. And now we're gonna move over to our return grills. Here we have return grills right here. So these are fixed louvers and this happens quite a bit where if somebody's looking for a 14 by 20, they accidentally order this, a 20 by 14, and this is what they get. And so you can't be installing that on a sidewall. And likewise, maybe in the ceiling, maybe you order this. You're trying to order this, you know, which is 20 by 14 return air grill, which is also referred to as a rag. But instead, if you order this and you're trying to hang this in the ceiling like that, it just does not look right. And so you gotta get these dimensions right, the, the width, Right here is your first dimension, and then it's your height. And that's true for any wall registers or grills. And then you gotta remember that these, anything that can get mounted on the wall also gets mounted to the ceiling with your screws. And so the same rules apply. Right here we have a filter return air grill, and you could call that a frag. And so it goes into the wall a little bit. And once again, 20 by 10 F frag or filter return air grill. So once again, just to kind of clear this up, this can be hung on the wall or the ceiling, and this is a 12 by four supply register. This looks very similar, except it's a floor register. And in this case, it's a four by 12 floor register. Now we're gonna move on to our ductwork. These are 90 degree elbows for rectangular duct, and this has three names, this has two names, and so these get confused a lot. And so this is a 16 by eight long way, 90 or it could also be referred to as a flat 90 it could also be referred to as a horizontal 90. now this right here is a 16 by 8 short way 90 otherwise known as a vertical 90. and so you got to remember that short way you can think this it's a shorter dimension from here to here 
than it is from here to here. And this is a long way, so this is the longer dimension. So that's a way to remember that. Over here, we have a trunk duct. And so when you're ordering this, this one happens to be a 14 by eight by four foot rectangular duct. And so you gotta remember that your depth is the first dimension, your rail size is the second dimension, and your length is your third dimension. So I hope this video helped you understand the dimensions and the names of the airflow products such as the supply registers and the return grills and ductwork fittings. And a special thanks to Audubon Plumbing Supply Company. And these guys have multiple branches. They've been in business for over 100 years. And if you want to learn more about HVAC, make sure to check out our website over at acservicestick.com. And definitely make sure to check out the article section. We have articles, quick tips. We've got our refrigerant charging and service procedures for air conditioning book, workbook, cards there. We've got quizzes, calculators. So that's all over at acservicestick.com. And hope you enjoyed yourself. We'll see you next time at AC Service Tech Channel.